Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Today, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and a sound listen to. That's right, we're gonna listen to these. These are the new 45th anniversary Morel Hybrid 42 component system and the Hybrid Integra 42 coaxial system. Morel calls their coaxials Integras, just in case you've ever wondered. Either way, we're gonna find out all about that today, so stay tuned. The first one we're gonna take a look at is the component set because when we look at the component set, it's gonna have a lot of the technology that's just gonna kind of transfer through to both of the speakers. This is the new 45th anniversary box. And so if you get something that has this gold on it, well, that's, that's what it's all about. Lotus style grill. When you open up the top, the first thing you'll find is your owner's manual. Morel, unlike most manufacturers, gives you a ton and I mean a ton of information from crossover points to every, basically every spec you could possibly think of, they give you. They give you this little guy right here. This can go up against the sticker and you can find out if this is true Morel or a clone. They break down everything that comes in the box for you. Talk about how to mount it, specifically this four inch. Explain if you want to do an active setup versus a passive setup. And also how to set the jumpers in the passive crossover for attenuation on the tweeter. This is kind of a whole line catalog so in here it has two ways, it has three ways, it has the Integras, and then on the back it has all of them. They also give you this big sexy Morel sticker. Pulling off the foam reveals this. Taking a look at this, you can kind of get a feel that you've bought something special. The, this pad here is made out of velour. You see this passive crossover highlighted right away. Let me dig in deep. This guy here is something to behold. Morel makes some of the sexiest looking crossovers out there. All of their components have Morel heat shrink on them. That is the jumper right there. This panel actually pops off so you can get to the attenuation for the tweeter. This particular crossover hooks up, amp goes in center, negative positive, tweeter is on the left side, negative positive, and the woofer is on the right side, negative and positive. It's a little bit different than most, so make sure you pay attention to that when you go to hook it up. A lot of companies put like input, output, output. This is input, output, output. There's morale, they just wanna be a little bit different, and hey, you know what, rightly so. They've taken the time to make this sexy crossover, so let's take full advantage of it. There is a second one located down lower. Let's remove this whole top layer here just to get to all the goodies buried down and in deep inside of here. As you can see, there's lots of little bags. There is little pieces of butyl to hold the grill on, but this guy, this is my favorite. This is the Morel warranty card or just the thank you card. It has your serial number on the back. And let's be honest, you just want one of these. It's just like a credit card and uh, you know, hey, whip it out by accident. Oh, this isn't the right credit card. Let me put this back in my wallet. Tweeters come with this angle mount here. It has this little silver trim on it. It's made to be mounted like like this or on a flat surface. They give you a bunch of speaker terminals, bag of screws, bag of small screws for the tweeter along with the locking mechanism that you slide over plastic. More terminals, small terminals for the tweeter. These are the little back pieces when using this flush mount tweeter assembly like this. It has these two little holes here on the back. This is made to go just like this on the back. Pressure fitted into place. More screws. And then it has these little pieces here, which I will come back to. Last thing it has underneath are these little rubber pieces, and these are designed to go onto the bottom of your speaker, and it gives you kind of a gasket. It also, when it's not perfectly flat because this is made out of rubber, it will obviously give a little bit and kind of fill in some of those small little creases or cracks or little slits you might get if you're trying to use this style mount. Let's take the tweeters first because tweeters are sexy. Push it out of the bottom here, and this will pull free from the mount. This is a standard style cut a hole, mount it flat type thing. The grill is removable, so you can take it off. It does have this cool Morel logo in it right here. But what you get once you get it all apart is this super sexy cloth dome tweeter. They make a couple different versions of the tweeter. This particular one is the MT300. This is a closed back tweeter. There are several things that make this tweeter unique and one of the most important things is what they call AccuFlex, which is applied to the dome itself. It's an engineered dampening compound hand applied to the soft dome and the dome is made out of silk. This adds rigidity and of course 
dampening. This greatly improves the clarity and the bandwidth of the tweeter. Take that along with the Hexatech aluminum voice coil, which is made from 100% aluminum shaped like a honeycomb. This reduces air gaps in the coil windings, thereby increasing efficiency by up to 20%. This makes it lightweight, which is largely responsible for the extraordinary fast transfer response that the tweeters are known for, which is one of the reasons why I like these. Now, some of the more things that people just want to know randomly, like this is a six ohm tweeter. Power handling is 130 watts with an obscene amount of peak power. Efficiency is 93 dB. It has a frequency response from 1600 to 25,000 and an FS of 1200. It means you can cross these things over super low and they put out a ton of sound. Next up is this bad boy right here the mid-range and there's a ton of technology the most important thing that we need to talk about with this guy is why they call it a hybrid because well that's where it gets its name from a lot of people are confused on that and don't understand like why would you call it a hybrid and it has to do with the motor drive or the magnet structure of this speaker so what they do is take two magnets a ferrite and a neo magnet and they combine them together this creates a compact lightweight motor system that is up to four times more powerful than the conventional design of the same size, which is seen right here. As you can see, this is a very shallow, small style speaker, and it's a four inch. Oh yeah, let's take the grill off because the grill is actually adding more depth to the speaker. As you can see here, look how much depth the grill adds to it. This guy is super shallow. Taking a quick measurement, we're looking at one and an eighth inch between here and here. But something you have to keep in mind is this little piece of foam here. This is the CAR filter. CAR, yeah, I know, but it's actually pronounced C-A-R. And it stands for Controlled Acoustic Resistance. The filter improves the acoustic loading by controlling the airflow within the driver. Believe it or not, this little piece of foam is adding back pressure into the driver, and that small amount is helping to control the movement of the speaker and its performance. This will improve power handling, and provide greater control over the cone movement for improved bass. I mean, and it's a four inch, I understand, but still, it's, it's something that's universal throughout the line. And what that means is that when you're putting this in something, just don't set it like this on top of it. Make sure there is a air gap behind there because this does need to breathe. One of the things that I often talk about when talking about Morel is the size of their voice coils. They simply have some of the largest voice coils out there for what these things are. And that even makes it more impressive when you think about this magnet structure you see this copper right here well that is the voice coil because this guy has a 2.1 inch voice coil or 54 millimeters that's like that big all right as you can see that's huge that means we have tons tons of contact area for precision movement of this driver the efficiency of this however is going to be a trade-off so this only has 82 dbs of efficiency the ohm load on this is 4 ohm frequency response is 50 to 4200 please for the love of god don't cross this over at 50 hertz it's just just the frequency response and power handling is a 100 watts. It uses the same Hexatech voice coil. The cone, the cone is made out of a material they call DPC. This stands for dampened polymer cone. One other thing is the rubber surrounds. And if you're looking here, you've kind of noticed this is a little bit different shape-wise than most fours. Like where, how, what, where's the screw downs? There are four little holes here. And if you flip it over onto the back, there's three screws. And for some of you guys that have like European cars, you might be like, wait a minute, there's three screws. One of the things that is going to be coming out for this particular speaker is a set of brackets that will allow you to remove these three screws and screw on a set of German mounting brackets to put into BMW. However, for most American applications, they're going to need this bag right here that I was talking about. What this bag has is these little clips right here. They're kind of strange, but they have this little lock here, a little shelf here. What they're designed to do is attach to the speaker like this, and then you can add as many as you need preferably three or four, and you can use this to screw the woofer into place. If you're gonna be doing that, the grill will not fit. If you do need the grill to fit, these little screw holes here can be gotten from the backside. That means that you can put this into a panel, drill a pilot hole, come in through the backside with a machine screw, that would allow you to mount it also. So there's three different styles of mounting available to you. What you don't wanna do is take a big pan head screw and come through this and then screw up the top
top of the speaker. There is a rubber gasket right here, but it's not metal. So if you were to take, you would screw it up. So don't do that. Looking back at the speaker, we look at the dust cap here, the side. This is all one piece. So from here all the way through, this is one solid piece of comb. This is not an attached dust cap, but you can see from the size of the dust cap, that kind of gives you an idea of how big that voice coil is that is attached underneath it. There is an exposed spider that you can see right here. And we have two tiny terminals. They use the little red paint on here to denote which one is positive. They also have a plus and a minus. Now I know what you might be thinking is that four inch speakers aren't, like it's a four inch. Why would you want to put this much technology into a four inch? Well, because four inch speakers are becoming more and more popular. So when Morel went back to the drawing board on this, they were like, we really need to bring it up to date and make it the most badass four they can. And they've done that. Except, well, it doesn't have a tweeter right here. And for that, we're gonna take a look at the Integra, which is this guy right here. Same cool box. The boxes have some weird texture to it that's just kind of pleasing to run your hand over. I know it's, it doesn't mean anything, but you know, it's, it's just kind of cool. One of the things I didn't do on the last box that I always tell people to do is look around the box and see what you can gleam from the box itself. This side, you really don't see anything. Flip it over here. There again, just a serial number, warnings and stuff like that. The ends, nothing here, nothing here. And that's why I didn't do it. But I know I like to show that, so I wanted you guys to see that. Let's open this guy up. Same owner's manual as we got in the previous set. Foam on top. Unleash the music. How cool is that? I know, you just feel like you should have that sound effect in your head. This is the same velour top. Your credit card. Just like the component system, the Integras also come with a big passive crossover. This is important that you know this because you're gonna have to find some place to put this. Unlike most speakers, like where they have small little rinky-dink caps and a maybe a coil, if you're lucky, this has a full 12 dB crossover for both the tweeter and the mid-range, and it has attenuation for the tweeter, just like the other one, plus or minus two. Wiring up is the same, amp input, tweeter, woofer, but they are different than the component set. The component set has an 18 dB crossover for the tweeter and a 12 dB for the mid-range, whereas this is 12 up, 12 down. But they both hook up the same, they're the same physical size. Part number on this is the MXR250.4i, and the part number on the component set is MXR240.4. Moving on to what's inside of box, all the little goodies they give us. Just like with the component set, speaker terminals, those cool mounting brackets, Brackets that we just put on, screws, lots of screws, more terminals, more screws. So there's an abundance of pieces to get this into your car. As well as lots of foam, it's got lots of foam. The speakers themselves have the same grill that was on the component set. And let's take a closer look. And at the beginning I had said the reason why I wanted to do the components first is because they use a lot of the same technologies. This one is a little bit different though. This has a closed back, so it is not using the car filter. It just has a piece of closed cell foam on here and your wire for the tweeter goes into this. One thing to remember that if you're gonna go passive, then it is not a bi-amp speaker because it's just one set of inputs and two outputs. However, on the back here, you'll see there's this set of leads here and this set of leads here. This set of leads is for the tweeter and this set of leads is for the mid-range. If you have an amplifier and you'd like to go active, you don't have to pull anything out, you don't have to cut any wires. Since we're on the back, the disassembly that we talked about in the previous one, where you have these three screws here, this has that same back of bracket. It uses the same hybrid motor structure. Depth-wise, it is a little, like a sixteenth of an inch taller than the component. However, remember, this one does have to breathe a little bit, so that compensates for it. Voice coil-wise, 2.1 inch voice coil, which conveniently gives you the room for the tweeter itself to go inside of it. For the techie stuff that we all love to know about, this is a four ohm driver with 80 watts of power handling, 89 dBs of efficiency, frequency response for the whole driver, the whole thing, meaning the tweeter all the way down to the mid range is 80 to 25,000. However, you can break those two apart if you like, like you're gonna buy amp it and you'd like to know your crossover points. This will play up to 5,000 and this tweeter will play down to 1,600. This has a full size tweeter on the inside of 
it. It has the Hexatec aluminum voice coil, Buta rubber surround, and then the cone, and this is made out of a treated paper. The magnet for this is not the hybrid, it's actually a full Neo magnet because of the venting and how they had to make this motor structure different because of the tweeter mounted on the inside of it. The tweeter's made out of identical material as a component. It's a silk tweeter treated with AccuFlex, Neo magnet, Hexatec, voice coil. So there are a ton of similarities between the Integra to the component, but there are a couple slight differences because of just how they have to make it and get this tweeter mounted here in the center. Now, something new that we're gonna be doing with this review, which we haven't done before and we're pretty excited, is we're gonna take a listen to all of these speakers. So join me now as we sit back, relax. We're not putting these in a car. We're actually gonna put them in some enclosures and take a listen to them and see how they sound. We have our sound stage set up with our faux brick wall so that it looks aesthetically pleasing. Really, there's a big sheet behind it to reduce any, you know, stuff coming from the street and whatnot. The hybrids are in their own enclosures. You have your components set up here on the top and your coaxial down here on the bottom. We have a audio control Rialto with an AB switch so that we can switch between the two and we'll be streaming our DRM free music from the laptop. This is going to be DRM free. It's probably going to be stuff that you've never heard of before. But with that, you ready, Fernando? I'm ready, man. Let's sit back, relax, listen to a couple songs. You can wear headphones, wear headphones. For every song we play, we're going to start with the component set in the beginning and then sometime into the song, we'll switch to the coaxial or the Integra. <laughs> Thank you. 
those of you guys who have been with us for a while, you know we played the same songs when we were in a car. So we thought we'd play those here too, just to give you that reference as well. And there you have it guys, the new Morel hybrids, the components, the Integras jammed out with us. We hope you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments what you think of this new format of letting you guys experience these speakers. Fernando, if you please. On to the next one guys. You guys have a great night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye.